Aren't they cute, you guys? The camera, it looks better on the computer, but, um... Yeah, she looks better on the computer, but they were both sleeping in the bed underneath my mom's chair. And she, she was beating. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a dress we just bought her at the bazaar I was at. So, anyways, hold on. I haven't filmed for um, a few days, probably like four days ago. I'm uploading a video um, that I made like four days ago that I never had a chance to upload. <laughs> and it's probably going to piss a couple people off, but oh well. Um, so anyways, this is going to be um, a whole video, I think. Um, and then there, there was also something that I wanted to talk about real quick. Let me see if I can find one. So I had to temporarily put my nesting hen ornament video on private because when, um, where is it? When I was loading, um, packing up all my ornaments, um, to take to the bazaar, um, I kind of want to move this. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys. Okay. Okay. Um, when I was packing everything up to, um, for the bazaar, um, I made a horrifying discovery. My beautiful nesting hen ornaments have gone soft. They are squishy now, and I don't know what happened. Now, this one isn't glazed, but even my glazed ones have gone squishy. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I am. I was so horrified. I'm still a little bit horrified, because I worked hard on these, and I was really proud of them, and I thought they were so cute, and I know a lot of other people liked them too, and I felt so stupid for posting the, vi posting the tutorial on them on how to make them, you know? <laughs> and turns out it was a really bad tutorial to make because the recipe isn't a very good recipe to do. Um, I really don't know what happened. Um, these were hard um, for at least four days after I made them. Um, and then after that I didn't touch them so I don't know how long they remained hard and cooked. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what happened. This was the first time I've ever made these, you know. Um, and I got the recipe out of one of my craft books that I had. And I followed the directions to a T. And everything was perfect. And I was very happy with everything. Um, and I really, I really don't know what happened, to be honest. It's almost like it's been sucking moisture back in from the air. Because I'm... When I first noticed that it was squishy, you know, I could only feel the squishiness on the on the on the main part of the bird here, and I'm like, well, maybe I just even though I cooked it and cooked it in a half an hour past what the instructions said, I'm like, well, maybe there was still a little bit of moisture in the middle because I made my birds too fat, um, but as the day went on. The nest part, which I'm absolutely sure I baked all the moisture out of because, you know, it's a thin part of the ornament. Um, this is has um, gone squishy too. So, I think I'm going to change the description um, in my tutorial soon and, and just tell people to use polymer clay for now just to use a tan polymer clay um, and that will work just fine you can do things exactly as you would as the dough and then I will be working on finding a um, finding a new dough recipe to put in the description box of that video because I really wanted this to be you know I didn't want to do a polymer clay ornament polymer clay is expensive it's very expensive when you think about, um, 
you know, how much you'd be using just for one ornament. So, um, that's what I'm going to do. I will switch the description and just, um, say use polymer clay until the solution is found. And then when I do find a suitable dough recipe, then I will switch the description again and, um, you know, hopefully you can actually make a real dough ornament and not a polymer clay ornament that I call a dough ornament. So yeah, I'm pretty upset about it. And I'm glad I didn't make a whole nother batch of these because they were so cute and I was very tempted on doing that. Um, I was very upset though. Very, very upset. Because, <clears throat> you know, these are going to have to go in the garbage. I can't have... I have... I have <laughs> I haven't even cut one of these open yet to see what the inside looks like. So, um, yeah, I, I really don't know what to say. Um, besides, I'm sorry if any of you guys have already made the ornament before I took the, before I put the video on private. <laughs> Cause this is what's going to happen to it. It's going to get squishy. But um, it was the first time that I made it. And um, this is absolutely the last thing I expected from it. So I guess you uh, you live and learn. And I will try and find um, a more suitable dough recipe as soon as I can. But the one that's on there obviously is no good. Because it's sucking up moisture. So moisture from the air not even sitting in a puddle of water but it's sucking up moisture from the air so at least that's where it has to be sucking up moisture okay anyways so i guess i'll get on with my haul video so i have a very exciting announcement and i didn't buy this <laughs> um i'm i'm so frugal it's not funny um we were at michael's oh Technically, it was last night because it's 3 in the morning. Um, and they had one of their machines on clearance. And my mother wanted it to um, make her jewelry. But she justified... To make jewelry with. But she justified getting it because she said I could use it too. And there's no complaints with me using it. So... On my on my part, I have no complaints about it. So, oops. sorry, I gotta roll you back down because my cord got caught. Okay, now I'm gonna roll you back up. Okay, so uh, sorry guys, it's really heavy. Okay. Uh, Ta da! It's a die cut machine. Woo! <laughs> I don't think I'd ever, honestly, in my lifetime, have one of these. And my mother says she want she bought it because she wanted to make jewelry with it, but I have a feeling that's not gonna happen. But we'll see. We'll see. So yeah. I was pretty excited about it. It's a, a, uh, what was it called? Mm. Well, it's Sizzix, but it, it had another name. Uh, oh, Vintage. A Vintage. A, a Sizzix Vintage machine. And that was funny, because my mom, <laughs> my mom was asking me, she's like, well, well, what do you need for it? And it's like, I don't know, Mom. I don't know what you need for it. Right? I don't know how to use these things. And um, So I bought one die for it. And my mother bought these three dies. And they're absolutely horrible little dies. They're... I'm going to try them with tin to see what it happens. Because it looks like um, with tin or metal, you know, it'll emboss it instead of cutting it. But, um, she bought this one, and it's a birdcage, and it's a very, very tiny birdcage, and, um, I 
the whole thing just falls apart. Let's see. Um, so this is part part of the birdcage. I think I'm gonna roll the camera down back down again just so that I can see what the heck I'm doing here. Um, yeah, it didn't cut like little slits of the birdcage out. It cut the birdcage out into a whole bunch of tiny pieces. So that's obviously not going to work. Um, but I'll try it on tin and see what happens. And then there was another one that, that she bought. Um... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what this is. Um, see, what was that one? The one I just showed you was Forgotten Times. This one, this one's, um, what is it? Um, Forest Foliage. And she bought this one. Um, fluttering wings. I haven't even tried that one yet. And they absolutely suck when it comes to paper. There were a couple ones on the Forgotten Times one that I could use with paper, like these keys. And maybe cut it out of cardboard or something. But basically everything else I'll have to try with tin. I think she paid like $4 a piece for them because they were on sale. And then the Sizzix machine she paid $60 for because it was also on sale. So yeah. I was kind of freaking out when I first did this because I didn't know it cut into the plastic, you know. <laughs> I had to Google it on YouTube to see what other people thought on how to use them and I was so relieved to find out that that's what happened when you use die cuts as it cuts into the plastic. So anyways, that's what um, she bought and I'm very excited about it. I really am. So I guess I'll move it here. And then I bought, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's called Flower Layers and Leaves. I couldn't remember which one, um, which die cut it takes to cut the roses, the paper roses. So, yeah, this is what I got. I think it's the wrong one though. I think the paper roses only have five petals and this, this one has six. So I paid, I had a 40% off coupon and so I paid $12 for it. I really didn't want to, <laughs> This is the thing, this is the reason why I never, why I uh, never thought I would ever get a die cutting machine or any type of um, expensive machine for that matter is because, you know, it costs so much just to buy everything else for it, you know. It's a big enough purchase just to buy the machine, but when you think about buying everything else it takes to use the machine, it's ridiculous. So... I don't know, I guess I have one one die cut to start out with. I really couldn't make up my mind. I really wanted this Fiskars die cut, but the package said to only use with the Fiskars machine, which the Fiskars machine wasn't on sale, so. Yep, yeah, that's it. So I paid $12 for that. Um. Oh my goodness! I'm a mess. Okay. <clears throat> so I bought some some paper. What's that? Um. 
some for some of the some of the things that I'm making for Leslie, and then some of them um, I'm making my mom's friend a mini album. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just moving you guys up and down today. So I got this paper. They had a month. They had half of their paper on sale, six for a dollar. So I got this one, and this one's called Script Floral. Then I got this one, Music Notes. Then I got this one. Chairs. Toily. Toily. I don't know how you say that. And this was just a piece of uh, brown cardstock that I bought to do my mom's friend's mini album. And then I got a Roosters one. So I only paid a dollar for those. Um, I bought these birds for um, I guess I don't have the receipt in here. I was so frustrated because you know, in Michael's, you know, they'll have that, um, usually it's by the cash registers, that whole aisle of, like, just dollar items. Well, they raised the price to a buck fifty, which, you know, really made me mad, to be honest, because all those fifty cents add up, man. So, um, but it said jingle deals, you know, jingle deals, everything that's a buck fifty is now a dollar. So, um... I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll buy something then, buy a few things, and when I got to the register, they charged me a buck fifty for everything. <sighs> I really despise false advertising; it makes me so mad. Anyways, I bought these little birds for a project for Leslie, and then I bought these puppy notepad because um, my uh. Mom's friend just got a new um, little black shaggy dog. And I got this flower chipboard album. I really didn't want a flower, but all they, the, the only other chipboard albums they had were shaped like fruit. Which I obviously didn't, uh, I, just, I don't understand why they would make an album shaped like fruit. Who wants an album shaped like fruit? So, um, I got this one. The other uh, fruit one that I had, I think it was, it was probably an orange or something. I went ahead and um, the one that I got in a, uh, over a week ago. I went ahead and and this was all marked up when I pulled it out of the package. I was so mad. Um, but anyways, I went ahead and cut the leaf and the stem off it. And I'm just going to make a new hole. This must have been a return mini album because there's writing on it too. I was so mad. Anyways. Um. And then I bought these um, two packages of sticky mosaic tiles and I thought they'd be really cute flower centers. I guess that's it. So then, um, like three days prior, um, I had went to Michael's before, before yesterday night, technically, and, um, I had a 40% off coupon then, so I went ahead and bought, um, another configuration box. This is probably the last one I'll be buying. And then they had... 
um, these on clearance because there's a couple of them missing their ornaments but um, I'm gonna glue glue the hooks back in them because they um, come out and I'm gonna turn them into earrings I think those would be so cute as earrings and I paid 99 cents for those the Tim Holtz box I paid um, I think six dollars and that's all I really bought. I did buy something at the bazaar though, because I was um, I was at a Christmas bazaar selling stuff. I didn't really make very much money. I gave away a whole lot more than I made, <laughs> but um, I did find these. Someone, a, a lady who's usually there every year was selling them. At, and they are pins, but um, I was going to take the pins off the backs, and I was going to give a, the flower and the butterfly, uh, one of the butterflies to Leslie, and keep a butterfly and a dragonfly and the dragonfly for myself. But I think they'd be really cute on shabby chic projects. And it's beads that have been stitched onto fabric. So, yeah, I paid 50 cents a piece for those. So, anyways, I guess that's it. I'm trying to get caught up with the videos because um, my craft table is absolute, was, it's still absolutely horrendous, but it was extremely horrendous um, when I was getting everything pulled out and set up for the bazaar. <laughs> I mean, just a mountain of paper towels and tissue paper because I have I have all my ornaments wrapped up, you know, because I don't want them um, if they click on each other or touch each other. Each other often paint. I can't even talk anymore. Often paint will transfer onto another ornament. Um, you know, the the colored paint will transfer. So I keep everything wrapped up separately. So everything was just a mess to unwrap. And I've finally gotten some headway made in the craft room. And I'm getting caught up with the videos. And, um... Yeah, but I had, a, I had a pretty decent time at the bazaar. It's always interesting on who's going to cause the drama there. There's usually a couple old ladies that... Because um, <laughs> the bazaar that we usually go to is at a assisted living home. And, um... There's usually a couple of the old ladies that like to cause drama. There's this one woman, and she is a master manipulator. She's kind of fun to watch her get free stuff from everybody. So, and then there was a, and then I gave away um, a lot of stuff because I feel so bad because here in Washington State, um, they only get a little over $50 to spend a month by the state. And then now the state's making them pay for their own medications. So that's taking away even more. And when you think about them having to pay, pay for their own hygiene products and their own clothing and whatnot, you know, they really don't have any money to spend on leisure items or stuff at the craft bazaar. So I ended up giving away a lot of stuff, um, which is fine. Even though most of those, even though most of the residents have family, most of the residents' family don't care about them, and so they don't get any help financially from their family. So, um, you know, I kind of forgotten about, and it's hard to see. So I did give away like half my stuff, and then I sold. A few things. I made a little bit of money, enough to buy that die cut, <laughs> and a couple other things. Enough to make today's purchase, but that's it. So, anyways, I guess thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.